interview that you had with the uh, Worldwide Fund for Nature, I see. Uh, can you please tell us about yourself? <laughs> okay, let me start by putting you put the end. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, my name is Lazola Bangani, guy from the deep rural areas of Lusiki Siki. Who would have thought that I'd be here today, you know? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a born again child of God. I love the Lord very much. It's one of the things that I cannot just um, end my talking without mentioning it, you know. Um, and as you have mentioned that um, you, 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 you guys have seen my interview with you, WWFSA, um, I am an environmentalist. I did an environmental sciences um, course, which has en enabled me an opportunity to work for WWF. So, yeah. So some people now may be wondering what one has to endure to be a holder of a master's degree. Now could you take us through your academic journey? <laughs> okay, um, let me begin, um, let me start uh, my academic journey from high school. So at high school, I did my, 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 my high school at Toile Senior Secondary School. It's one of the high schools in Lusiki City. So I was in the science stream. Then in that stream, there, there, there was a, a subject that is being called geography. So that subject um, has made me to have a passion for nature. You know, uh, I'm that one person who wants people to live in harmony with nature. So when I, I learned geography, I, 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 I came to understand that there are many um, acts that we as humans are posing to the environment. And those acts that we pose to the environment, they put an, our environment in danger, in danger to such an extent that if we continue with our acts, in, in, in future we might not be living in a habitable environment. We call those things in our, in our field, those are anthropogenic impacts that we are having um, to the environment. So uh, that, that's where the passion started. I, uh, when I did geography, I felt like, you know, when I come to university, let me do environmental sciences. I did my, my undergrad degree. It was a three years degree. I began it from 2016 to 2018. And when I did my undergrad degree, surprisingly, I never thought that I will even further my studies. I thought, you know, I'll just do my degree and go and work. That, that's, that, that's how we know from, from uh, that's the knowledge that we're having from rural areas that if you go to the university, immediately you graduate, you, you, you go to, to work, you know. But when I was in the university, I, I, I got um, some knowledge that, you know, one can pursue his studies and I felt like, you know, that would develop me a lot so that I can also bring some solutions, if I may put it that way. Um, that may help to mitigate the impacts that we as humans are having to the environment. So I decided to pursue my studies in, 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 to, and do my PSC in honors. And I want to encourage people that they should know that there are benefits of doing postgraduate studies. As we know that when you do your undergrad studies, there's NSPAS and other bursaries. So when you do honors, there are more bursaries. So people should come and do postgraduate studies. You get NRF. There are many other bursaries that I can um, mention, but let me just for now mention NRF because it's one of the well-known um, funding that um, funds someone who does research. So I did my honors. It was a one-year degree from 2019 to 2019. Then after that, uh, I came in, in to do my master's from 2020 to 2021. So yeah, that's how the, the, the journey has been. But let me put it this way, it's, it, it's a nice journey. It's a very nice journey, especially if you have a passion with the research, because um, you get to, to research many things. You need to be someone who likes reading, because you cannot research without reading, without reading. You need to bring new knowledge that people are not aware of. So you cannot, you don't have to repeat what other scholars have researched in. You need to read and say, okay, this is the gap that the scholars who have went um, before us did not um, cover. So you come with that, um, that, that research and see what gap can you close and what new knowledge can you bring 
to the people and well, how can you benefit the community because it's not only research someone was actually asking me if what are the benefits of doing research why are we doing research we are not only just doing it for academic purposes to earn our titles but it also like adds a value to the community for an example in my in my in my masters i was doing a research in in the illegal dumping and its impacts to the water quality there are many illegal dump sites that are along the the the, the water bodies and you know people they dump their waste there unaware that that waste can end up in the water bodies and that those that, that water that is affected is the same water that some of the people use it for other purposes. So when that water is being affected, that affects their health as well, you know. So yeah, it's it's a very uh, interesting journey. Yeah. So uh, as a holder of a master's degree, I'm still safe to call you Mister. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. So um, one thing that you should know when you have your degree. Your in, in our field, because at least maybe in medicine, immediately you, you, you finish your degree, you are a doc. But in our in our field, you do your undergrad degree, you do your honors, you do your masters, you are still missing. Then up until you have a PhD, then that's where your title changes and we can call you doc. So what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of the academic route that you chose? Okay, um, let me start with um, disadvantages. Um, one of the disadvantages that I can point is that um, there's um, a high um, there's high competition outside there, you know. So in my as much as my academic route or my field is not that much known, but now there's a lot of competition with you if you only did your 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 undergrad degree yeah there are chances that you can get em, em, employment but it's more wiser to pursue your status further so that you can be able to stand out for the rest and be able to get more opportunities that come but yeah there are more advantages than disadvantages so for an example if you 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 uh, you've mentioned that you know me from wwfsa for me to get um, that opportunity, the minimum um, entry levels for you to be a WWF and intern is, is for you to have honors. And fortunately, when I got that um, opportunity, I was doing, I, I already, I was done with my honors. It's, it's when I was doing my master's. So I got that opportunity. I was placed at Eastern Cape Parks and Tourism Agency, where I was an environmental manager dealing with um, EIA review of environmental impact assessment and that also has helped me to develop my GIS skills and my stakeholder engagement skills. So it's more advantageous. There are many opportunities that come even when you have a master's. We know that a master's, it is a minimum um, requirement in every university in South Africa for, for one to be a lecturer. So even if you, 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 you did not go exactly to the field. You can come and um, plant the same knowledge that you have attained from your studies to other learners by being a lecturer. So it's one of the advantages, and I want to believe that there are more advantages that I might not have mentioned, but yeah. yeah. Now for someone who is in high school or someone who is doing undergraduate degree, uh, what are the minimum requirements to pursue the same career that you pursued? Okay. <laughs> So firstly, if you want to, to do BSc in Environmental Sciences or just BSc because there are many um, um, streams within BSc, you need to have studied um, the, the science stream, which means you cannot come to BSc with math mathematics literacy. You need to have um, in pure maths and your physics, your life sciences, and if you're going to come to, to Environmental Sciences, at least you need to have geography. And at least you, uh, it's not that much, just 50%, that's the minimum requirement. So if you did not get admission and you had 50%, um, um, don't come to me and be like, but you said 50%, I said the competition is too tight, ne? but at least that's the minimum requirements that you should have level four in all of your, of your, of your subjects, but okay, you can even do better than those level fours. Now, in terms of economic stability and job availability, what are some of the advantages of becoming a scholar in general? 
uh, I think I've mentioned uh, already one of the advantages is, is, is for you that you can be a lecturer. You can also be a researcher, just be based in research. Okay, let me mention this. I, 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 this. I've been having um, a conversation with, with some of the scholars and they've been always telling me that, you know, some of the things that people do not know is that there's money in being an academic. There's money in being a scholar. So it, the, the more you further your studies, is the more that you, 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 you spend a, a, a chance for you to earn a better salary, you know. So it's one of the advantages and um, it can... Um, help uh, in terms of the economy because you know that there are, there's, a, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of um, job, um, what you call, job unavailability, but I was looking for an appropriate term. But the more that you, you, you study further, you stand a chance for you to get more employment and also earn better. Now let me take this opportunity to thank you for joining us and for sharing so much about yourself and about your academic journey and uh, all that you've had to endure so far and uh, also for telling us about your future plans. Let me thank you for being with us in this session and in our initiative. Oh wow, it's a, it's a very great pleasure for me as well. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.